This is the Robart Sterling engine as reviewed in Fly RC Magazine in the March 2012 issue. It's an external heat engine. You can see here the little alcohol lamp flickering away. We'll move that underneath the hot cylinder. And uh, what's unique about the Sterling engine is we have the hot cylinder here, a power cylinder here. They're connected by a channel here through this uh, plinth. And what happens is the air heats up in the power in the hot cylinder and expands. As it expands, it drives this power piston up. And as the piston comes up, you can see it's also driving as a displacement piston in the hot cylinder down. As that happens, it forces the hot air up towards the end of the cylinder with the fins. It extracts a little bit of heat. The air cools, it condenses, allows the power piston to come back down in its cylinder, and as it comes back down, the displacement piston goes back up, the cooler air comes back down to the hot side, it reheats, re-expands, starting the process all over again. Should be just about ready to go now. One unique feature as well, if we remove the heat, there's enough residual heat in that glass that a properly running engine, one that's loose and free like this one, will run for about two minutes as it cools off with no apparent source of power at all.